This video shows you how to find the greatest common factor using prime factorization. The first example asks us to find the greatest common factor of 12 and 24. To begin, I'm going to start by making a factor tree for the number 12. 12 can be factored into 2 and 6, and 6 can be factored into 2 and 3. 3 is a prime number, so we know that our factor tree is done, and now we must make a factor tree for the number 24. It can be factored first as 2 and 12. 12 can then be factored into 2 and 6, and 6 can be factored into 2 and 3. Now we must look at which prime factors are common to both factor trees. I do this by starting with the largest prime number and working backwards. The number 3 is common to both trees, so I'm going to highlight it in both trees. On your page it might be easier to circle the numbers. The factor trees also have two pairs of 2's. In order to find the greatest common factor, I need to write down the common factors and find their product. Down below, the greatest common factor, or GCF, equals 2 times 2 times 3. We can simplify that to the greatest common factor of 12 and 24 is equal to 12. The second example asks us to find the greatest common factor of 24 and 60. I'm going to start by creating a factor tree for 24, which can be factored into 12 and 2. 12 can be factored into 2 and 6. And 6 can be factored into 2 and 3. Next, we have to create our factor tree for the number 60. 60 can be factored into 2 and 30. 30 can be factored into 2 and 15. Now 15 cannot be factored by 2, but can be factored by 3, and that's 3 and 5. Now we must find the prime factors that are common to both factor trees. The number 3 is common to both trees, so I'm going to highlight that. As well, both factor trees contain two pairs of the number 2. So down below, I can say the GCF equals 2 times 2 times 3, or the GCF of 24 and 60 equals 12. Please check out the other videos and subscribe for more.